Fighter planes ruled the skies over the Western Front and became one of the best known features of the First World War. But a group of Australian enthusiasts fear their role and their sacrifices of brave airmen could be overlooked in the coming centenary commemorations. They're literally bringing history to life in South East Queensland to make sure that doesn't happen. Eric Torchek reports. The world's oldest warbirds were almost too much for some older war horses. <laughs> they now have a new appreciation for the difficulties of early military aviation. Well, it's not a job for a 55 year old. <laughs> and that's what a group of aviation history enthusiasts are trying to achieve with these working reproductions of German Fokker fighters. And the machines of the day were obviously quite advanced, quite sophisticated and we wanted just to bring that to the Australian public to educate them, inspire them and help them remember what these men went through, the designers, the builders and the flyers. They'll do that even more when they're finished and they fly. They're interesting. I wouldn't say they're scary. The first flight in any aircraft is uh, of a concern. These four planes include the first and last Fokker models to be used in the war. They were capable of aerobatic manoeuvres that became legendary and still excite today. We'll definitely be doing basic aerobatics in the triplane, loops, uh, barrel rolls, any sort of positive G manoeuvre. These reproductions not only give a working insight into the history of aviation, they're also an important reminder of the amazing feats of the airmen of the First World War. And they're also pretty cool. And they could be in great demand soon as Australia commemorates the centenary of the First World War. No other museum, state or national, uh, no other defence force body, no one has got anything like this to represent the airmen of that war. So it's particularly important with the centenary next year that we'll actually have flying examples of World War I aircraft from both sides. Looking back while looking up. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News.